Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NASCAR Bros. Today is day 11 of the 12 days of diecast, and today is the one-off paint scheme 124 diecast that I have in my collection. I uh, thought this one would be f pretty fun to do because I uh, don't have too many of these, but, um, you know, some of these cars are pretty rare to find, so I thought it'd be fun to just see a few cars that only ran one time. Starting with our first one, we got Jeff Gordon's 2000 Snoopy car. This ran at the Brickyard. And it looks really nice. Love the blue on this one. Love the blue on the roof. Love peanuts. So I th that's probably why I got this one. This is my first car, so uh, that's why it's like damaged on the window. You know, just uh, just played with it too much when I was little. I got this one when I was like six years old. So uh, you know, it's just got a little bit of damage. But got this one probably because it had Snoopy on it. Uh, but it, it, you know, it's pretty cool. It's one of those special ones that. Uh, not too hard to find, really, but uh, pretty cool car. You know, you got the trunk opens, hood opens up. We'll, we'll get that open. You can see the very nice detail these old cars used to have. So you got that in there. Very nice engine. Uh, only ran one time at the Brickyard in 2000, and it's pretty cool. Love the details on it. Uh, both sides the same, but then you got the front with the 50th anniversary for Peanuts. So, uh, pretty cool car. Only ran one time at the Brickyard. Next up, I didn't include any Darlington or Coke 600 paint schemes because those always have to be throwback or a patriotic. This one looks like it's from the Coke 600, but this actually ran at Michigan in 2019. So I thought that I would just throw it in there because it is pretty nice. Uh, technically, this is not the first time that this ran. This ran with Dale Earnhardt Sr. Same paint scheme, just uh, the names weren't on the hood. But really, it is the same paint scheme. And, of course, the sponsors are different. But uh, overall, base of the scheme is the same. But really, this technically ran once at Michigan in 2019. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. Love the stripes along the side. The blue and... Uh, or the flag, I guess. It, it, it's just the American flag. But the blue with the white stars on the front looks super nice, especially there from the front. Then you got the red dow logo which matches really well and you got a bunch of names on the hood which you can't read but i have a poster in my room that came with this car and uh, i could show that in the future but um not right now because I've got other cars to look at this this one's not bad so pretty solid car just not the best this was austin Dillon's michigan ran one time at michigan in 2019. next up we got a race win. This is Kevin Harvick's 2019 Loudon win with the very nice Bush beer and the National Force Foundation. Got this one just because of the paint scheme. Race win's okay. Confetti's kind of there. It's just, you know, it's spread out nicely, but it's just very light confetti. So only reason I got this, if this was like the standard car, probably wouldn't have picked it up. But this paint scheme is so nice. They did a great job. I love... The running water and the uh, yellow sky in the rocks with the waterfalls and the trees. The trees go all along the front uh, behind the Bush Beer logo. It like changes colors here. So it's like orange and it changes it into like uh, a camo green. Uh, it looks different on the camera. It's more of like a lighter green in real life. But uh, you can still see the, the color change pretty well there. So it uh, looks really nice. You got like an elk there. You got the National Forest logo. Uh, just the camo. Then you got the trees. So... Really, this is a really nice paint scheme. Ran one time at Loudon in 2019, and he won with it. So, I'd say that's a pretty good way to run a paint scheme one time is to win in it. So, great scheme, pretty solid race one. That was Kevin Harvick's 2019 National Forest Foundation. Ran at Loudon in 2019. This one's a really cool one. This is Kevin Harvick's 2019 Bush Beer Gen X car. This ran at the Brickyard in 2019. This car is super cool. Got the black. You got the checkerboard roof. You got all the neon stripes there. Got, like, the weird mountains with, like... Uh, I don't know what to, to call that. It's like the thing you do when, like, you're making a game. It's like the printout, or, like, the layering effect. Not really sure what it is, but... Uh, yeah, so you got that. You got the very nice neon green logo, or number. You got Gnarly on this side. And you got Fresh on this side. You got the guitar, the palm trees. You got Bush Beer. On the top, you got Radical Brewskis 
on the back you got hashtag for the cup and this is just a really cool car ran one time at the brickyard back in 2019 and he did not win in this one but this would have been a really nice race win in my opinion but it's super cool got this one for pretty cheap and i'm glad i got one it's really cool definitely got glad to have this one in my collection so uh, that was kevin harvick's 2019 uh, Gen X car ran at Indy. Lost my train of thought there. Next up, we actually have two Nashville cars back to back. This one is Alex Bowman's 2021 Nashville car. Pretty cool. Alex gives it a 2022. Not a huge fan of this one. I know a lot of people liked it. Looks a lot better on track, in my opinion. The blue just doesn't quite look correct to me, in my opinion. Uh, this car is pretty nice. But 2022 is definitely much better. So, um, ran one time at Nashville. It looks like he'll have a different Nashville paint scheme every year, which will be pretty cool. Uh, this was the first one, and I think they did a pretty solid job on it. This was designed by Dale Earnhardt Jr., and it looks pretty nice. So, you know, you got a lot of blue on this one. This is the only ally card with blue, and it looks nice. You know, blue on the front, all along the side with the stripes. Got the white 48 and then the blue 48 on the roof. Lots of purple, not not too much pink. They did better on the 2022 because there was more pink. So that, I think that's why the 2022 is better. It's got more pink on it. And the back looks kind of weird in black. So uh, only complaints. Overall, good scheme. Uh, finished like 16th, I think, at Nashville 2021. So uh, good scheme. Overall, probably like a 7 out of 10. Uh, but this was Alex Bowman's 2021 Nashville. Pretty solid. Next one's another Nashville. This is Kevin Harvick's 2021 Nashville Gravedigger car with the autograph, and it is an Elite. So you got suspension and deck lid opens. This one's really cool. I don't think it's as good as Bowman's, but it's up there. They were contenders for best paint scheme of the year. They both ran in the same race. This one's really cool. It's just your basic Gravedigger car from Monster Jam put onto a NASCAR. So, you know, you got Gravedigger, all the cool... Um, a graveyard thing. You got the cool house there with the moon in the background. You got Gravedigger on the front. Gravedigger on the sides. This car is sponsored by Gravedigger, which is a first, because almost every Harvick car is a Bush beer car. So, pretty cool that that is actually sponsored by Grave Gravedigger. Uh, it's probably actually a Monster Jam sponsor, but a uh, really nice car. Ran one time at the Brickyard. Or, not the brickyard at Nashville, ran one time at Nashville, and it looks really cool. Got this one autoed from Lionel, so that makes it pretty rare. It's probably valid around 250 if I wanted to sell it, but definitely going to keep this one. Super cool car. Glad to have this one in my collection. That was Kevin Harvick's 2021 Nashville. Next up, we got another race win. We got Denny Hamlin's 2021 Darlington winner. Ran one time. Thought I saw it multiple times, but the thing that makes it different is the awesome different on the front instead of just the offer pad so that's why it's up here really i'm pretty sure they ran this one multiple times but because of the awesome different it only ran once so good paint scheme not a huge fan of the gradient i've said that before but i love the orange the white looks nice good race win uh left recorder panel shredded pretty solid confetti on it love the yellow banners got some donut marks got some wall scrapes so it's a really good race win from the playoffs so you know i got the yellow banners and splitter or er, and spoiler so it looks pretty good this is a good race win pretty solid paint scheme just not a huge fan of the gradient could have done a little bit better it just kind of changes too fast but that's my only complaint this car looks really nice uh overall one of my favorite race wins in my collection so definitely glad to have this one this was denny hamlin's 2021 darlington next up and our final one is one that i got yesterday this is kurt bush's 2022 kansas win with the jordan brand with a very nice elephant print ran one time and he won this would also be his final win and it's a good race win got the tire scraped up you got a ton of dirt on the front like crazy amounts of dirt so that makes it look super nice you got the classic jordan logo on a very nice gray base you got the elephant print with the 45 Got Jordan there, McDonald's, 7-Eleven. Got Camry, Toyota. Deck lid pops open. It, it is the Elite. You got that. You got the suspension. 
And uh, yeah, this is a great car. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, what a paint scheme though. This is one of the best one-off paint schemes that we've seen in a long time. Probably the best one that we've seen all day in my opinion. It's going to be hard to beat this one. They should bring a similar one back with Redick next year. They should always have uh, a Jordan brand car like this. They had another one with, I believe, the Jordan Concords, I want to say, back at Richmond. Ty Gibbs was driving it, though, so really not the same, but it looks super nice. So this is a 10 out of 10 paint scheme. This is the best one that we've seen all day, and it is super nice. So this was Kurt Busch's 2021 Kansas win. And definitely a good one to get your final win in. That's going to do it. We got one more video, and it's tomorrow. It's the race win video. That's going to be the big video. It's going to be a long one, probably about 20 minutes. So make sure to tune in tomorrow. If you watch the whole thing tomorrow, we will have a giveaway. So make sure to join the live stream. Put down a comment, and you will be put into a wheel spin. And you can win a uh, probably 124 car. Uh, but I will get the prizes. So just make sure to hop on the live stream tomorrow. I'll put out a community post. So just make sure to hop on. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.